A Hollywood blockbuster represents thousands of hours of work, which means that no matter how great the finished product, some pretty interesting stuff happens behind the scenes of most films that we, the public, never get to hear about. Except on super cool YouTube videos like this one. Here's a look at the filming of the Matrix franchise and some of the crazy things that happened when the cameras weren't rolling. Required Reading Matrix star Keanu Reeves had to read a thousand pages worth of philosophy and evolutionary psychology before he was even allowed to see the complete script for the film. But everyone in the cast had a homework assignment to read a dense book of French postmodern philosophy called Simulacra and Simulation by Jean Baudrillard. That's because the film's directors, the Wachowskis, wanted to be sure that everyone in the movie really understood the concept behind the Matrix and could explain it when asked, unlike Morpheus, who clearly didn't do the reading. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. The scene Warner Brothers didn't want you to see. The Matrix special effects team studied everything from the physics of fluid dynamics to the exploding patterns of different types of glass in order to create this awe-inspiring helicopter crash. But the whole thing almost didn't happen. Just researching the scene took so much time, money, and work that Warner Brothers tried to have it cut from the movie entirely. Fortunately, the Wachowskis' passion won out and the helicopter crash stayed in, using just about every kind of special effect available at the time. The Matrix was a comic before it was a movie. Before they blew your mind with this breakout sci-fi hit, directing duo the Wachowskis had only one other successful film to their name, the lesbian crime drama Bound. So, to convince Warner Brothers to fund The Matrix, they got comic artists Jeff Darrow and Steve Skros to turn the script into a shot-for-shot -shot storyboard of the entire film. The 600-page storyboard was impressive enough to get the studio to take the red pill, giving the Wachowskis a $60 million budget to make their vision a reality. Warner Brothers' only stipulation? That they got to pick the film's star, though their choice of Keanu Reeves wasn't initially a big hit with the Wachowskis. Turns out they just didn't know Reeves had a skill set that went way beyond what they'd seen in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I know Kung Fu. All the white shirts were actually green. If you noticed that every scene set inside the Matrix simulation is kind of green and queasy looking, you're not imagining things. It was a visual trick used by the filmmakers to give the world a sterile, artificial feel. Which, sure, they could have accomplished with a filter in post-production, but costume designer Kim Barrett went the extra mile and put every light-colored piece of clothing worn by the cast through a green wash that also goes extra nicely with the color scheme in the Oracle's kitchen. The Matrix took its casting director to some interesting places. For Neo, this training simulation was designed to teach him to keep an eye out for the movie's evil agents. But if you take Morpheus's advice, look again. you'll notice something weird. Some of the people in this crowd look exactly alike. For the filmmakers, it was a subtle hint that whoever made this simulation took shortcuts, copying and pasting the same code multiple different times. But for casting director Tim Little, it was a challenge, because he was the one who had to scour the entire country of Australia for dozens of pale-skinned twins and triplets to use in the scene. That wasn't the best part of the job, however. Little actually had the most fun visiting local fetish clubs to find extras who would be comfortable in some of the film's more extreme costume options. The Matrix Recycles Back in the day, the sets constructed for The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions were among the most ambitious ever built, like the one-and-a-half-mile stretch of fake highway that was built from scratch for this chase scene. But it didn't go to waste. 97.5% of the materials used in the final two Matrix movies were either recycled or repurposed to build low-income housing in Mexico, which means that someone is probably sitting in a living room right now where the very walls are imbued with molecules of Keanu Reeves' kung fu sweat. Whoa. Hugo Weaving's Epiphany One of the best parts of The Matrix Reloaded is the burly brawl, where Neo battles an army of clones of the evil Agent Smith. This scene was partially accomplished through CGI, but it was mostly done by making up a herd of stuntmen to look just like actor Hugo Weaving. And unfortunately, this awesome movie moment shattered any illusions Weaving had about his receding hairline. Talk about a bad way to find out that you're going bald. Because here I'm looking at everyone from the side and I go, ah! <laughs> look, look how far it's gone! Keanu Reeves gave away a lot of Matrix money. Despite what you may have heard, Keanu Reeves didn't donate his entire salary to the movie's special effects crew, but he did sign away his residual payments forever in order to funnel money back into the trilogy's production. Nobody knows exactly how much money Reeves passed up in order to give the crew another two movies worth of job security, but it would have been in the millions. We'll give you a second to let that sink in. 
He is the one. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.